Hey guys, what is going on? This is Ray from Your Free Games, and today we are checking out Heroes of Thessalonica. Now, this is a free to play 3D MMORPG, and I just recently came out, so we are going to be doing a first look on it now. Uh, if you want to know more about this game and with the, the, the uh, free to play uh, link, all that stuff is in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, remember, if you do enjoy this uh, review, make sure to thumb this video up and share with your friends. Um, so here I am, just starting off in the kind of a newbie area. I selected my character creation. Uh, I kind of skipped that for now because, quite honestly, uh, there was only about three to four options that you can pick from, kind of a generic general option, you know, pick hair, color, and face structure, and all that kind of, you know, general stuff, and it wasn't really worth showing, so I just skipped that, and here I am with some uh, epic, epic equipment on me, but quite honestly, uh, they're going to take it away, f they're going to take all the equipment away from me once I finish this newbie zone, and uh, it's just kind of get getting me into the into the swing of things in terms of fighting combat and using skills and whatnot. This this area is uh, just a completely different area than what I will be in in a couple of minutes here. And uh, it seems like there is a kind of a story aspect to it as well. Um, you know, I didn't really read the story at all, but you guys can definitely go ahead and do that. Um, there is this kind of over, you know, broad storyline in this game but uh, I don't think anybody really reads the stories or goes with the stories for MMOs they just kind of play the game and grind and all that kind of all that kind of stuff so there I am kind of glowing like the look at me glow look at me glow there guys um the one thing that I can tell you about this game which is a little weird is the camera angles look at this I'm kind of stuck I'm like stuck in the uh, corner and uh, the camera angles kind of switch to really awkward angles sometimes when you're uh, when you're running to places when you're auto running you're, when you're not when you're running to places but when you're auto running there's an auto routing function uh, similar to perfect world games like Forsaken World where um, the quest list is on the right hand side where you see all that green mumbo jumbo there and there's a clickable link there so you, all you have to do is click that and uh, it'll take you there you go I'm gonna click to my area again and see when I click there it keeps kinda messing up the camera angle so I actually have to you know move by myself so the camera angle does get messed up but there's a clickable option there like I said uh, it's not functional at all in my mind um, I don't know why this game is really uh, open to the public because if you're gonna have an auto routing function and it's not working I mean, it's working, but it's it's really not because if the camera angle messes up, your character just auto stops anyway. So uh, it's kind of messed up in that sense. There I am. I just finished the newbie area, I believe. So let's see here. Loading screen's pretty cool. Got a chick there. Some big boobs. Okay, there I am. Here I am. Here. Um, this is the actual kind of open world environment. And it's funny that they, I don't know what the point of um, me being in that newbie area, killing those uh, monsters with some epic equipment was. But uh, we'll do it, we did it nonetheless there. Here I am with this general here and we're gonna, it's kind of showing me where to right click on my little task menu on the right hand side there. Just to check out my inventory and whatnot. And I've already got some equipment which I'm gonna equip. There I go that one and I got a gift box but I think that one I can't open yet so I'm um, gonna co keep going here and uh, yeah so I mean other than other than the uh, auto routing kind of you know disaster I would say uh, the auto routing disaster where the camera angle just totally messes up and later on you'll actually see me uh, using the auto routing function well I'll use it throughout but I mean later on you'll see that when I use it um, the auto routing path that's directed towards this is totally off off balance um, 
it'll you know I'll, I'll click on a I'll click on the auto routing for a, a link or whatever to get to somewhere NPC or something like that and it'll start you know routing me in a way that it, I can't go that way so it'll start routing me up a mountain but all, all, all that happens is when that when that happens I just my character just goes you know tries to go up that mountain but it can't because you know it's not a place that I can walk to so it just kind of walks mindlessly into the mountain forever until you you know adjust until you move yourself kind of thing so that's kind of that's kind of weird uh, here I am killing um, little monster here and I just leveled up looting I know looting works in a similar way as well um, you just kind of click on the loot I wish I had an auto looting function as well because clicking on um, everything is kind of t tedious it becomes eventually so I finished that quest I'm gonna go hand it in there you go I just leveled up again uh, leveling up again for um, for this game is uh, fairly fast early on uh, I leveled up a bunch of times just in the first 12 to 13 minutes that I played this game which you'll see me uh, in, in this uh, kind of first look here uh, the graphics are okay um, the graphics are decent actually uh, I, I think this is a Chinese or Korean developer and I've always noticed similar kind of when they're making RPGs the graphics are actually pretty good but quite honestly I will tell you and most people will probably agree with this the graphics are not that important in an RP MMORPG I mean yes if, if they're great graphics that's that's definitely a plus but if the gameplay is not is not as smooth as it can be then the graphics does not matter if the graphics are great or not because I mean you're playing a game and if if you know the gameplay how how the functionality of the game is and how the movement is how smooth it is and all that kind of stuff to the game uh, isn't up to par then it doesn't really matter how amazing the graphics are um, because you won't be enjoying the be actually playing the game itself um, you know some games have amazing graphics but the actual functionality of the game I like this like this uh, Heroes of Thessalonica is uh, kind of um, not as good as it could be so kind of throws you off in that sense and here I am gonna go talk to I finished that quest over there behind me across the bridge and uh, talking to this dude here and I have a quest I gotta go talk to another person it's kinda making me do the whole uh, FedEx run over here running from one person to person and it's kind of getting me um, aware of the general layout of the town and you know all the NPCs that are here which I'll be using I guess uh, later on so a lot of games do that to just kinda start you off in the right direction and I got two quests here so I'm gonna probably take see there you go I clicked on the uh, one of the link markers and it just kept uh, hitting me towards the wall so what is the point of that then I do not understand if the path the designated path for you know the auto routing function is not is not right at all then I don't understand using the auto routing function at all so I actually had to use my own you know keyboard to get to where I wanted to go Okay, completed that one and I'm just checking out the other secondary quest it says that I haven't met the level requirement to complete that quest so I'm just gonna keep that in my quest log for now and work on the other quest um, until I get to that level to finish the second one there and uh, I think I'm using the auto writing function again um, it's still kind of weird because my character keeps bumping into things one one company that does the auto writing function amazingly well is um perfect world uh most of their games are auto routed so uh you'll be using that and you know it kind of um making your gameplay and finding quests easier so but this game does not do it good at all 
See, I'm just hitting a tree. And that's not me just going into a tree. That's me using the auto routing function. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, come on, you know? Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna head over to another NPC, I believe, so... I'm gonna see what's up over there. Go talk to this guy. And he is showing me. What is he showing me here? Let me see. I just gotta accept more quests from him. He it's just showing me some introduction stuff in terms of um equipping things and all that all that all that stuff there. And using kind of scrolls to enhance yourself and all that stuff <clears throat> i mean in general the game is okay it's a decent game um i don't really see myself playing much of it after this first look here but uh i can definitely understand if people do play it for a while um the the environment right now isn't so populated in terms of other players but uh you know it is a fairly new game so i'm assuming that's why um, the graphics, like I said, are pretty good. Uh, the functionality of the game in, is, uh, I would give it kind of half, kind of 5 out of 10, because it's really disappointing. It just really throws you off with the auto routing function. And, you know, it, it's not that you have to be dependent on the auto routing function, but why put it there if it's not working perfectly? Um, the interface is sleek. Uh, there's no problem with the interface, although the inventory panel can be, I think, cleaned up a little bit. Um, other than that, guys, I think that's going to be it. Uh, you've just checked out Hot uh, Heroes of Thessalonica. Now, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. Um, all the information for this game and the free download link is in the link description. And remember, if you did enjoy this review, please, please thumb this video up. Until next time, see you guys later.